Pineda, Nazambuanga sa SM City Mean Pro. Hatid sa inyo ng Philippine Information Agency, Mindanao Communicators Network, SM City Mean Pro, MCTV at E-Media. We are live at PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page and via other government agencies' Facebook pages. One TV Philippines is a TV channel 17, BCH Cable TV and Cable Televisions in Zamboanga City at MCTV and E-Media. Happy Kapihan Wednesday po muli sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. Ang Kapihan and Nazambuanga will discuss important topics that will help you make more informed decisions wherever you are. At ngayon po, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol naman po sa celebration din ng ating ngayong buwan ng March. We are celebrating, of course, the World Consumer Rights Day and we have our special guest para po i-discuss atin ang mga karapatan po natin bilang isang consumer. And let's welcome our guest from Department of Trade and Industry in Region 9, the Legal Officer. We have Attorney Hybe Joa Cunha. Ma'am, welcome po sa ating program. Buenos dias na todos. Um, on behalf of our Regional Director, Engineer Alzheimer I.D. Pai, and of course, CTI Region 9, we are truly thankful for this opportunity. And I would like to greet everyone at no, the Happy World Consumer Rights Day. Ayun, so thank you very much po sa, for your presence no, for our uh, episode today sa ating programa. And like you mentioned po, we are going to talk about consumer rights and syempre, happy World uh, Consumer Rights Day pala. O, oh, Consumer Rights Day po sa lahat ng ating man, mga um, consumers. So yun po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. As we celebrate it, um, could you elaborate po on the significance of this day? Why are we... Um, conducting this, celebrating this here in the Philippines. Of course. Um, just to provide a brief background, no? we observe the World Consumer Rights Day every March 15 to commemorate the historical moment in 1962 because at that time, no, that was the concept of consumer rights was formally acknowledged. So again, at the time, we only had four basic consumer rights. And over time, especially in the Philippines, this list has been expanded to include a total of eight consumer rights. So essentially, no, the World Consumer Rights Day serves as a reminder that we as consumers no, are entitled to certain protections. But I also want to emphasize no, that um, this day is not just a celebration, it is also a call to action for better protection. So during this day, the DTI intensifies its efforts by conducting various activities po to provide our consumers with a platform to voice their concerns. And we take this chance or opportunity no, to gain insights from our consumers and hopefully no, we could enhance our service. So kaya po importante ang araw na ito sa ating mga consumers because we, this day is devoted not only to raise awareness, but of course, no, we make sure to provide our consumers the needed platform and avenue po. That's true po kasi meron ang iba. Hindi talaga nila alam kung uh, wala silang platform and then hindi din nila alam kung ano ba talaga yung mga right, karapatan nila bilang isang consumer. So with that, gusto na natin adiretsuhin no? ano ba yung ating mga consumer rights and protections na guaranteed by the DTI para po sa, dito po sa Pilipinas. Um, as I have mentioned earlier, we have eight basic consumer rights that TTI seeks to protect. So these are the right to, of course, basic needs. So we ensure that our consumers have access to essential goods no, that are necessary for our survival. We also secure the right to safety. We protect consumers against products that are hazardous po sa ating life and health. We also guarantee the right to information, no, provide our consumers with complete and accurate information to make informed decisions. We also have the right to choose. So so consumers know are offered vari variety of products at competitive prices and um, the other four rights know are right to representation. So yung mga interest ng ating consumers are considered in um, policy making. So we also have the right to um, redress. No? We offer um, consumers the remedies no, in case there are violations of their rights. So we also have the right to education. So of course, we ensure and guarantee that um, may access po ang consumers natin sa mga needed knowledge and skills. No? And lastly, the right to a healthy environment. We promote a sustainable um, community or environment, of course, to ensure that um, yung quality of life ng ating consumers are enhanced po. And as to how we guarantee no, these rights, we have several consumer laws and regulations in place, including the Consumer Act of the Philippines not to safeguard these rights. Um, for instance, no, I'll just give a short example. To ensure the consumer safety, no, we put in place product standards and yung DTI po continually um, monitors no, the adherence of business establishments to these standards. Similarly, to ensure that consumers are well informed, we also enforce um, 
regulations concerning product labels and price tags. So may mga specific laws enacted to uphold each of these rights. And the DTI works hard to implement and enforce these rules. And we penalize and impose sanctions on business establishments that fails to comply um, with our or with the mandated rules. Attorney, how about ito? Kasi di ba, we are into online, to digital. How do we protect consumers na who buys online? And then yung mga online sellers din natin, are, are they covered po dito sa, sa batas natin? Of course, but actually, as a matter of fact, no, there is an ongoing discussion between um, for a memorandum of understanding between the DTI and the Di Direct Selling Association of the Philippines to address yung mga anti-pyramiding scheme and also with our platforms, Lazada and Shopee, to address yung mga online commerce. No? And um, actually, ang theme po for this year is fair and reasonable AI for consumers. So, patok rin siya sa ating um, mga online um, commerce po and sellers. So it's good to know na yun nga, even online, we are protected. So wala po tayong po problema doon kasi we, we still have rights no, as a consumer. Kapag uh, we buy online, we buy products online and we are protected. So how does the DTI naman po, attorney, work with uh, to promote no, consumer awareness and education? As you mentioned, kanina isa sa ating mga um, eight consumer rights is the right to education. So Throughout the year, ano po yung mga ginagawa natin to promote this um, awareness and what special initiatives po yung are being organized, especially for this World Consumers Day? Um, the DTI po conducts information campaigns throughout the year through media engagement for instance. No? So, this Kapihan na Sambuanga po is an example of that commitment. And additionally, no, the DTI also organizes programs focused on consumer education and advocacy sa ating mga schools and universities. We target also our young consumers. And as a matter of fact, no, we conducted seminars for our OJT students sa DTI office to provide them a background po on um, consumer protection. And sa business sector side naman po, we also conduct seminars for our businesses because by educating our business owners, no, we are hitting two birds with one stone. No, parang We are indirectly also um, protecting our consumers through better business practices. Additionally, um, aside from this, po, we also conduct consumer caravans and we disseminate information educational campaign materials to our business establishment. Um, regarding the special initiative for this year's World Consumer Rights Day, um, I will be speaking for the Region 9 no, DTI. So our efforts will extend across Sambuanga Peninsula with each provincial office post in Sambuanga City, Sambuanga Sibugay, Sambuanga del Sur, and Sambuanga del Norte will be organizing a forum. So we will invite speakers to discuss again the theme on fair and responsible AI for consumers alongside discussions po on other relevant consumer-related matters. So continue, siyempre, yung ating effort on educating. So we have these programs. Maybe uh, with the uh, schedule siguro and the uh, invitation for this um, forums natin will be posted no via our Facebook pages. So let's keep uh, posted na po no, from the DTI Region 9 office. Ma'am, ano po yung uh, mga concerns na natatanggap natin? What are some common no common concerns or issues that the DTI addresses? And how can consumers seek assistance or redressal for these issues? Um, yung common concerns or issues no, that TTI normally receives or accepts no, include those involving product quality, so particularly the, the sale of defective products. So other common issues din no, pertains to misleading marketing schemes, yung um, price tag issues actually is also common. And and deceptive business practices tulad ng mga scams so to assist no our consumers in seeking remedies for these issues we encourage our consumers to file a complaint at the consumer welfare desk of the establishment so typically no the DTI operates or oversees the operation of yung complaints desk at ating mga stores where consumers can um, directly report issues if at that level po there is no settlement then um, you may file your complaint at the DTI office. So we accommodate um, walking complaints during regular business hours. We also, you may also file complaints through mail, registered mail or courier, and we also allow online complaints through our DTI consumer care system. So if you wish to file a complaint po sa ating mga viewers no, online, you may visit the website podrs.dti.gov.ph. Um, we recommend this system kasi streamlined na ang process from the filing until issuance of decision. 
Attorney, you mentioned regarding the issue concerns on scams, no? Online, so we have that. So, how, what specific measures po does DTI implements to protect yung ating mga consumers from scams? Regarding scams and fraudulent activities, this is very, this is a rampant issue talaga. And ongoing to siya. Um, there is a dedicated section in the Consumer Act no, that deals with such issues. So basically, we have regulations in place po to um, address dishonest transactions. Um, nonetheless, no, as part of our proactive measures, we form partnerships through memorandum of agreement with the National Telecommunication Commissions, no, meron na po yun, no, ang ating MOA, to address, for example, text, text scams. And as I've mentioned earlier, meron ding ongoing process for the MOU between DSAP for to address naman the anti-pyramiding scams. So at least meron tayong mga um, platforms and we have um, initiatives no, to address these issues. Can you also discuss po, attorney, yung, ano, any recent developments po or reforms natin in consumer protection policies and regulations that have been introduced by the DTI? Um, the latest significant development development that comes into mind is the vape law po. This became vape law. <laughs> this became um, RA 11900 po to siya. This became effective last August 12, 2022, which makes it the most current law no, that TTI enforce. So we already issued the implementing rules and regulations, including the technical reg regulations po for the product standards of vape products. So highlight ko lang po yung technical regulations. No, This ensures that the vape products that are being sold at the market conforms to the stand required standards for product quality and safety. And we also initiated na info campaigns to highlight yung mga salient points ng ating vape law to our consumers and our business establishments po. That's true po, no? Kasi medyo delikado nga because it's electronic, kumagamit siya ng batteries. So dapat dumadaan talaga siya sa quality standards, yung protocol na yun. So meron pala tayong ganun. So for those who are not aware that we have that law na po, last August pa 2022, so at least they are aware that we have this. And si DTI po yung isa sa mga um, nag-regulate nga ng um, batas na ito. So how does the DTI po collaborate naman with other government agencies and yun mga consumer organizations natin and stakeholders to strengthen talaga yung ating consumer rights and advocacy here in the Philippines? Um, actually, one of our core values no, that TTI uploads, upholds po is synergy. So we put emphasis on collaboration not only among our employees but also with our external partners and stakeholders. So this is why no, the DTI actively partners po or form partnerships with various entities tulad ng ating mga government agencies and even our educational institutions. So we closely work with educational institutions and we invite the participation of government agencies who has technical expertise during our conference or seminars or forums. And we also partner with local government units, um, particularly our barangay officials during um, enforcement and monitoring activities. So we invite them as disinterested witness during our su surprise inspection po sa mga business establishments. Meron po ba tayong attorney na ni parang ina-advise no, sa ating mga business establishments, sa ating mga stakeholders na in their own establishments, meron silang mga nilalagay na mga yung consumer rights ba para aware nga yung mga consumers nila on how to complain. Siguro pag meron silang mga product complaint, do we advise them or talagang they need to do that po sa kanila mga establishment? It depends po. Pero we do, again, we disseminate po, we give out mga information campaigns to our business establishments para pwede po nilang ipost sa kanilang mga um, physical stores. However, there are certain laws, as I've mentioned, yung vape law, yung shortchanging act, no, that requires um, business establishment to display yung mga warning signs, health, government health warnings, and also yung mga no shortchanging law. So again, there are measures in place no, that requires establishments to post um, um, war warnings to our consumers. Actually, we appreciate nga yung sa ating mga online sellers then or online platforms na may shopping shopping app na meron silang mga nilalagay each seller yung mga guidelines nga if uh -oh. so we appreciate that na at least we are aware no as a consumer as a buyer na ah, okay so I can return the item if merong damage so meron silang mga ganong guidelines sa kanilang uh, items 
para aware tayo. If I will just if I could just mention also okay. no. Um ito rin yung program may program kasi introduce ang DTI which is the Big Wish Award program. So this actually ang intention nito is to encourage business establishments to promote ethical standards. So one of which no is mag-establish po kayo ng consumer complaints desk. So if ever may mga complaints diretso na po tayo sa complaints desk ng establishment and also the posting of um yung mga guides for our consumers. So with that, no, you will be awarded by the DTI po. Ayun. So meron po tayong binibigay na awards sa ating mga establishment? Yes, there's a recognition for them po. Is it um, annually? Um, annually siya, and then may category siya, may silver, bronze, and gold. Actually, SM is, I, if I'm not mistaken, also uh, the award. Yes. So we appreciate nga that we also um, encourage nga yung ating mga establishments for that para din ma-recognize sila, no? annually, by the end of the year, ma-acknowledge yung mga efforts na ginagawa nila for our consumers. Ano naman po yung advice natin, attorney, or tips natin that would you would you offer to consumers to help them make informed choices and exercise their rights and protect themselves from um, schemes, no fraudulent schemes or substandard products? Um, medyo madaming advice no na pwede ba? Go ahead po, attorney. We are ready to listen. <laughs> Pero I'll highlight ano, two key pieces of advice na lang po. Um, to our consumers, no, consumers must be aware of their rights. No? Understanding kasi your rights is fundamental to making informed choices. So this involves acti actively seeking for information by researching. And we also advise consumers to read the product labels and yung mga fine print ng ating mga contracts, including ang warranties and return policies po. And if you also have that time, no, we encourage you to participate sa mga educational activities like seminars being offered by the DTI. And the second piece of advice po, no, is be assertive kasi merely understanding or knowing your rights so it's not enough if you do not exercise them. If you assert kasi your rights, no, you will help businesses, no, inform businesses of the proper regulation and you will also um, give us the opportunity. Uh, um, we also encourage you to report violations sa proper authorities such as DTI para may opportunity po to address these issues and also protect our other consumers no, from similar issues. So those are my advices. Yes. So dapat nga be assertive talaga sa consumer. Dapat um, tignan din talaga natin yung mga products na binibili natin, especially online talaga. Um, now that our people are really into online, so they they don't want to to go na in the physical store, so bumibili na lang sila online. So let's be skeptic na din sa pagpili ng mga products or mga items na binibili natin online. Attorney, what role po um, can consumers play no, in contributing to a fair and um, sustainable marketplace natin? And how does the DTI engage with consumers to gather feedback then and insights? Um, so to our consumers, no, we encourage you again to report any um, unethical conduct of standard products or fraudulent activities to our department. Again, no, this feedback will help businesses in enhancing their practices and also no. Um, will assist regulatory bodies no, to uh, maintain your standards. Now, um, I also advise um, consumers no, can also make a contribution to our um, community or marketplace if they would also um, make responsible and thoughtful choices when purchasing. So try to support businesses that are known for their ethical practices. Um, as I've mentioned, no, tulad ng mga establishments that were recognized under the Bagwis program of the DTI because supporting these businesses will also help encourage other um, establishments no, to adopt similar responsible practices. And regarding the man, no, how we engage consumers to gain their feedbacks, in addition po to hosting forums, we connect with our consumers via our social media platform. So, syempre, since we are in the digital age na, this approach is effective, no? Kasi we can tap into a vast audience and we also get to receive immediate responses, no? On consumers' opinions and sentiments po. Of course, malaki din yung role ng ating mga consumers sa marketplace, especially locally. Kasi um, isa din talaga tayo sa mga nagko-contribute sa market ng ating mga local producers, local establishments, local businesses and entrepreneurs. Which leads me to the question that we have here, isang product din from um, locally made. No, Dito po ba yan sa Sambuanga City? Um, it's 
um, located po sa Sambuanga del Sur. All right. Oh, oh. So, I will just mention no, that this bag was made by the Dominga Women's Handicrafts oh. Makers po. And also, the image I'm wearing now is from Angie's Yakan. Oh, oh. Oh, so, we have um, these beautiful products po dito sa uh, Region 9. Marami tayong mga products na gawa mismo, handcraft mismo ng ating mga locals. So, we support them, no? We try to support them as a, as a consumer as much as possible. In encourage natin sila attorney na to buy local, uh, support local. That's uh, yung talaga isa sa mga na naisip ko rin when we think of um, uh, DTI. No, isa yan sa mga pinag sinusulong natin na to buy local products. Of course, para din ma, ma promote yung ating mga produkto here in Zamboanga Peninsula. Lastly, na lamang po atorni. What are the DTI's priorities, no, and goals natin para to promote consumer welfare and rights in the Philippines? And how can consumers participate in these efforts? Um. The primary objective total of why we advocate for consumer welfare is, of course, to ensure protection. Basically, that's it, to protect. Kasi um, despite no, yung gaano ka-frequent ang consumer transactions in our daily lives, um, it's surprising how little consumers understand about their rights and how easy they can be um, deceived or taken advantage of. Which is why no, we enc um, we we have this go in primary goal po talaga namin or objective is to um, empower consumers no enabling them to make informed choices and advocate for themselves and if we achieve this we also we can also accomplish another critical or important goal which is to establish a fair and um well fair and ethical marketplace no or environment no kung saan yung again quality of life ng ating consumers are enhanced and we can also be confident no, that we cultivate an environment wherein yung ating mga businesses operate with integrity and they hold a reputable standing in the community po. Siyempre gusto natin, hindi lang yung ating mga establishments yung protected, ho, protected din yung ating mga consumers, lalong-lalo na po talaga yung ating mga consumers. And um, attorney, ano po yung ating mensahe no? now that we are celebrating our World um, Consumer Rights Day, Ngayong buwan ng March or specifically March 15, every March 15, we are celebrating this. What is our message to all our consumers? Siguro a little bit of tips, paalala, reminders natin sa kanila. And not just for the consumers but also for our business establishments. Um, since our discussion, no, medyo nag-focus on consumer protection. So allow me to share a one of TTI's tagline which is, um, a well-informed and vigilant consumer is the best protected consumer. So Basically, no, this belief embodies that knowledge and education are the consumer's strongest defenses. So if you are um, empowered with information and you are vigilant, then you will have the ability to protect yourselves, which is why no, to our viewers, to our consumers, but we encourage you to take the initiative to learn about your rights. And with this, no, um, I encourage you to visit our Facebook page, DTI R9, for, to learn more about DTI's um, initiatives and projects, no, especially for this coming, uh, for this World Consumer Rights Day. And lastly, happy World Consumer Rights Day po. <laughs> Happy World Consumer Rights Day. Lahat po tayo ay consumers, di ba ho? So lahat po tayo ay may karapatan talaga. So we, if you want to know more, like uh, what attorney Heidi mentioned, na meron po silang Facebook page that you can visit, message anytime, and they can answer you if meron po tayong mga concerns eh, on a certain product, on a certain establishments ba na um, pinagbilhan natin ng mga bagay or item na Yon, dito po sa Zamboanga City or Zamboanga Peninsula. With that, me, thank you very much po. We would like to thank maraming maraming salamat. Sa thank you guests. so much po. Thank you so much po sa ating guests for today, sa ating episode. And again, we are celebrating uh, March 15 po yung ating World Consumer Rights Day. Once again, our guest from the, the, from the, the Department of Trade and Industry in Region 9, we have the legal officer po ng DTI 9, Attorney Heidi Jo Acuna. Thank you po. And maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. Hopefully po marami po tayong natutunan, lalong-lalo na po sa ating consumer rights. So yun po, no? maraming salamat at magkita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pa pong episodes din ng Kapian na Zamboanga. Of course, we would like to thank the following sponsors. We have Duncan, Blanca Kalintika, Isetika Zamboanga, Karimadon, Camiseta, and Penguin, all available at SM City Mean Pro. Sa ngalan po ng Philippine Information Agency Director General Jose Torres and Regional Director Ms. Noemi Edaga, Ito si Mayra Espinosa. Muchísimas gracias.